Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, wait, this isn't going to end the party, is it? Oh, shoot. Hopefully, I can still walk around. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Monsieur, please. please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Uh oh. Yes. Find out what. Oh, man. Bummer. That's okay, though. Why don't I play Pathfinder anymore? Because it's too bugged. I'm waiting for the patches. Can I reload this section? I kind of want to see this party. I kind of really want to see this party. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm trying to figure out, like, can I reload a checkpoint or something? Uh... Oh, I can just fail the mission? Maybe that'll set it before we talk to, uh... Before we talk to the mayor. R2 to quick load? Oh, no, my guns. I can't, I can't R2 to quick load. Sorry. Man, we, they're very generous with how far I can get from this guy. <laughs> there we go, okay. Um, I don't think I want to restart the mission. Well, maybe we do, and we can just skip all that stuff. Let me try the checkpoint first. I'm guessing this will do it right after the fireworks, right? Let's check real quick, just in case. Yeah, okay. So people are saying in progress I can reload the chapter. Uh, chapter four. Angel Bronte, Man of Honor. No, I think because we haven't done the mission yet, we can't restart it yet. Let's take a look in story. Uh, load game? Restart mission? A56? Yeah, I I think that would work. Let's try it. How good is this game? Awesome. This game is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. I'm not even big into like historical games like this, um, but it's it, the game is good enough to where like it's still really enjoyable for me. Swash N, thank you so much for the sub. We also have Pekanda, Davex, Saturn Skip, uh, Saturn Skipson, thank you very much, buddy. Septic Backflip, Mel Neko with the two years today. Case Lane Sadius, Lavardis with the three years. Thank you for that, my dude. We also have Benku Wevin, Trunky Resident Evil, Asmo, Scarlet Pimpernel with the two years, the Isbit, Papa Burgundy, Zepperoni, Barry Carline with the 57 months, dude. Thank you, my friend. All right, I think we just have to go talk to Dutch. Yeah, yeah, now we just talk to Hosea, right? Oh, actually, before I do this, though, where's the, um, where's the camp upgrade? Where is the camp upgrade? Is it, oh, it's over, it's up, it's upstairs on the right. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. Hey, Juiceful, what's up, buddy? Well, River? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then... I make a fool of myself again. Shave before the party? Hell so, uh, no. I went into town. Shit. So did I. If I was still a Girl, religious crazy. man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've given up on all that. Mm. Hey, graphics plays. How you been, bud? I met a monk there. 
kindly fellow took me back to my days in Shut up. I'm sorry. Can this wait till later? Okay, then. Not to worry. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. Add more logic. So how are you? Well, I can't complain. Great. Oh, that's it? No new upgrades? <sighs> Bummer. Ticlato, good vibes to you, my friend. Good vibes to you, man. That's awesome, dude. All right. Let's head over to Osea and get started with this. And this time, we are going to definitely make sure we listen to all the good stuff. All of the good stuff. All of it. All of it! Everything all right, Anthony? Haircut and a shave? Nah. Will I take a lunch before Fallout? Yes, I will. Yep. Can we not? What's up? There we go. Hey, what chapter are we in? Four. Come we're on. in four. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old senior hey, Luna. that horrendous snake has Hey Shannon, how are you? Oh, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a mm -hmm. bitch. But yeah, we're going to be doing Fallout from 2 to 7 tonight. We're going to give it a good 5-hour block, since this is going to be one of the last times I can play. And then, as a quick reminder, for anyone that hasn't seen it yet, uh, make sure to check out the Fallout 76 command. I'll link it in chat. We've announced our 100% run. Super excited for that. We're going to be 100%ing Fallout 76, exploring every square inch, going to every location, doing every quest, participating in every public event. It's going to be awesome. Building a huge base. Can't wait, dude. Can't wait. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Hey, SRSB, what's up, bud? Uh, with a beautiful evening, it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend. I'm so man. good. Played Fallout with Anji yeah. last night. It was so fun with a friend. I hit, it hit the feeling we wanted. Shannon, that is awesome to hear. Yep. Respect. Jose, Bill, you joined the party. There are five things they need to fix in 76. And if they fix those five things, like, I'm set. I'm set. Larger FOV, hollow tips, or hollow tapes not interrupting each other, um, unlimited weight limit at camp, or the ability to build more storage, uh, push to talk, and uh, enemies and items not respawning all over the place. I think they need to adjust that. And then they need to make some PvP changes. But outside of that, like, I think it's, I think it's going to be really solid. I think it's going to be good. And I've played it now for about seven hours, six or seven hours, and I've loved every minute of it. Ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived, and you've washed, but let me know the Okay, we're going to skip this because we saw it. <laughs> Boop. For anyone just tuning in, that guy's kind of a dick to everyone, including us. So what I did last time was I went and immediately talked to the mayor, which unfortunately, like, progressed the entire party forward. So this time we're going to walk around and, like, listen to some people. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Tavares says, how would you make a game like 76 without loot respawning? Well, the issue is not loot respawning. I'm totally fine with like the Fallout 4 style where containers respawn. The issue in 76 is that world items respawn. Like, the items you actually see in the game world respawn, including holotapes. That makes no sense. If you walk into an apartment and you loot the toilet paper off the back of the toilet, and then you loot the lamp sitting on the table, and then you loot the book sitting on the table, when you come back five minutes later, all that stuff shouldn't be back. Like, I understand if containers respawn, the loot you can't really see, like, that's totally fine. But the loot that's actually, like, in the game world, that respawning is weird. 
It, that that shouldn't respawn. Go find the mayor if you can. That's strange. Trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. No, guys, all that loot is is unique to the player. So it's it's not as far as I know, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I don't think you have to compete with other players over that loot. Oh, oh, people are saying it is static. So wait, it it is instanced, right? So if, if I if I walk up to a corpse with a gun lying next to it and I pick up the gun. If I'm playing with someone else, can they walk up and then pick up the same gun? Or when I pick it up, is it going to disappear off their screen? It's gone, gone. Okay. So if there's four players and one gun is sitting next to a corpse, then only one of those four players is going to get the gun. Only containers are personal. Wow, see that's a that's a weird decision. That's 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 very strange. That also really doesn't promote multiplayer. Hmm. I mean it makes sense realistic wise, but I don't um, I don't know about that. That's a little bit weird. Pleased to meet you. Eston James. What a beautiful evening. Sure. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk more about this when we play Fallout 76 today. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be playing for like five hours tonight, so <laughs> we'll have plenty of time to talk about it. Drink that champagne, dude. That glass is half full. You're you're not even drinking it. Bro, you're not even sipping it. But somehow I am not what? free to vote. You <laughs> look me in the eye and tell me in all honesty equal of any man you ever met. You're reaching again, Mrs. Wickham. I like their dresses. Yeah, I'm just going to test it later. No, it's a good question. We'll, we'll pull some mods in when we play today and test some multiplayer stuff. You French, sir. Sort of. Anyway, I heard that Judith Hawks, Bill, has taken a lover. Of course she has. That slippery fool has had that coming for years. But that's not the interesting part. What's interesting is that her lover is a Powell. A Paul? A Russian. Something like that. Like a Jew? <laughs> not that bad, but nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us, sir. We are having a private conversation. My partners and I represent 20, well, more like 23% of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. You okay? <gasps> My lord. <laughs> the pesky nut! What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, Algin and Max. Hello. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh! Like you! And me too! Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An estate in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. The reconstruction projects after the war. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. 
Did he just say, I'm going to go purge? Ah. Okay. I would at least like the opportunity to show you our business. Thank you. Thank you. I think that alone made me uh, happy that we redid this. Cause that's pretty cool. Not only did we save a guy, but we got a card, and now he's going to remember us later. That that could be cool. Can I help you, sir? Not quite sure. Albert Danielson, Brian Tilden. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. Um. Nice to meet you. <laughs> new suit? Yeah. He's just staring at me. I mean, no. Uh, no, it's a new shirt. Are you new in town? Uh, yes. I come from the west. I mean, the north. The, the, the north. West. Dude, look at his suit. Okay. I came down from Washington myself many years ago. This town gets to a man. Undermines even the best of us. That is so much smaller than him. Truth is an absolute sign. Don't you think? Don't quite How are you all good? Well, you are not. It would seem well, the only one. Wow. I was in the army once. Good for you. What do you do now? The road. Well, uh, I'm not quite. Uh, oh, I'm an American. Uh, yes, but what do you do? Oh, uh, why are you looking at me like well, that? I'm in between jobs at the moment. Oh. Of course. Bill, you're a dumb. You shop you're... me too, sir, if you don't sharpen up your morality. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying. Well, try harder. Much harder. But what would you like me to do? To hit the mayor myself? Impudence. I see you still got that. But it takes more than a steady line and in insults to succeed in newspapers. At least in mine. Good evening. Prick. So hard these days to find men of true morals, especially in journalism. Indeed, it is. And you certainly won't find many here. How do you think they got so rich? Well, anyway, enjoy your evening. Good evening. Did you hear him back there? The law should be a dictator. He just like knocked over those two bottles. Evening, folks. Hello there. Oh, sorry, random lady. Evening, all. Oh my. Why hello. hello. Okay, I think we're done there. Hello. How do you do? Oh, we got some good for something. How was the show? I heard you went. <laughs> Hey y'all. Wait. Is it you? Oh, would you like tickets? What? Ah, here we go. Sure. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Man, we're getting all sorts of fun stuff in here. Mighty kind of your friend, mighty kind. I like your hat. I got it from Mr. Ross. He's the finest milliner in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. Go on. Oh, okay. Well then. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hill. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I see. <laughs> that dude tried to step in and I was just like, no. <laughs> no. You get your own damn champagne. Hope you enjoy that show. Sounds a little party and lowbrow for my taste. But not for mine. Oh, I'm sure it's lots of fun. Okay, good talk. How do you do? How are you all doing? Howdy. Howdy. 
Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Then what seems to be the trouble? Take it easy, I ain't serious. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> Evening, folks. Okay, good talk. How do you do, man? Are you enjoying the party? Everyone's just dropping their shit. Okay. I like the like front and center dingle shot here. This this is the cinematic camera. What kind of movie we watching? Um let's turn that off. All right, I think oh 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 wow, it like drew me into here. Okay. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> but this man. Yeah. What say you, me? Cool off. Hello. All right, I think it's the last cutscene we've actually seen, so everything past here is new. Can you play the entire game in first person? You can. Outside of like cutscenes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Gentlemen. Bonjour. Yeah, like the names, right? Guest seven. Oh, how do you do? Guest eleven. Evening all. Hello, guest 13. Good to see you. you. Need something from me? Hope you're doing well tonight. Oh, hello, Entourage 4. How are you? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. How do you do? All right, here we go. No one will suspect me if I'm sneaking. Oh, I can't sneak. Oh, that makes me sad. Sorry. Yo, we playing Hitman now. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Dun 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 Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look 
not me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Jesus. Now get out of my sight. What a dick. Not bad. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Tough secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Can we just leave? Okay, good. Wait, what's that letter? Wait, whoa, where are you going? Oh, he specifically said don't steal anything. All right. Well, I mean, we're stealing the big thing, but I'm, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Just in the off chance that this causes an issue. What do you keep in New Game Plus? Oh, I didn't even know this game had New Game Plus. Did you know your beard can be a lot longer? Oh, dude. Well, I've been, I was shaving most of the game. I only just recently stopped shaving. I'm sure it could be a lot longer than it is now. <clears throat> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe it's not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? Plenty of <laughs> I can't get over Bill, me. man. <laughs> Look at his freaking feet. <laughs> big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city he looks like a five-year-old. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. And I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Look at him walk, too. He has to, like, walk funny. That's so great. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All the folk look. are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? <laughs> Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. Uh, female half orc Copra says, "Co, they're talking about your bourgeoisie ass." <sighs> hey, come on now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Time. Bourgeoisie. I guess. <laughs> so, what's next? Dancing lessons, deportment, more along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. 
And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the Taylors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. I like the sound of that. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Hey guys. As spoiler free as possible, I'm about to ask a question. As spoiler free as possible. Dutch is in Red Dead Redemption 1. Yes or no? It's been a long time since I played RDR 1. Yes, he is in RDR 1. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 